The U.S. Navy is approaching a drag queen influencer to help persuade new recruits into joining the military. Yeoman second class Joshua Kelly, who goes by Harpy Daniels, announced back in November that he was the Navy's new digital ambassador. Their attempts to increase interest among young people amongst a historic recruitment crisis. A survey from the Ronald Reagan Institute found that only 13 percent of 18 to 29 year olds are highly willing to join the military. A Xenia Municipal Court judge finds a transgender woman not guilty of public indecency. In February, Fairborn resident Rachel Glines was charged with three counts of public indecency. People claim Glines exposed themselves in the women's locker room at the YW or YMCA in Xenia. The women claim a man was changing in the women's locker room. A witness said Glines claimed to be a woman. A judge Friday ruled there was not enough evidence to support the charges. An American politician is receiving death threats from trans activists after he himself came out as trans. Delaware Councilman Ryan Webb was, until a few weeks ago, a straight white male. But he recently told constituents that he now identifies as a lesbian woman of color. A councilman is coming out as a transgender, as transgender and a woman of color. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Since that announcement, he's received some support, but a lot of backlash, many calling him childish, despicable, even calling for things like execution. The problem? Trans activists insist that Ryan Webb is not really a woman. Not like, say, Dylan Mulvaney or Caitlyn Jenner or Leah Thomas. They are actual women. And we know they are actual women because they identify as actual women. So it should be obvious to everyone. And if it's not obvious to you, well, there's something wrong with you that needs to be corrected, probably by force. Trans activists weren't live and let live, tolerance loving pacifists who only became enraged when Rosie Parker dared to speak about biological women earlier this year. I'm old enough to remember what happened when conservative commentator Ben Shapiro dared to suggest to Caitlyn Jenner almost a decade ago that biology, rather than wishful thinking, determines gender. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics? Or no? Well, well, no, what no. Are your genetics. Sir? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Now, unlike Caitlyn Jenner, Dylan Mulvaney is not a former men's decathlon winner. So Dylan proposes to force gender ideology on you by more subtler means. Like the articles written about me using he pronouns and calling me a man over and over again. And I, I feel like that should be illegal. I, I don't know. That's that's just bad. So trans activists have made it pretty clear that it's hateful and bigoted to question the way in which a person self identifies, all of which raises the big question, why the hostility towards Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb? Do they hate her because she's black? Webb advised his constituents on Facebook, after much consideration, I've decided to come out and finally feel comfortable announcing my true authentic self. It's with great relief that I announce to everyone that I identify as a woman, and not just any woman, but as a woman of colour. I guess this would make me gay lesbian as well, since I'm attracted to women. Phew, that felt good to finally get that out and start living life as my true self. To which we are all supposed to say, so stunning, so brave. Did I get that right? Because if you're against any of this, you're a transphobic bigot. Webb later added, it's come to my attention that I'm more than likely the very first lesbian woman of color in the history of the Delaware County to serve on the Delaware County Council. I am honored to be the one to shatter the glass ceiling. To which we're all supposed to say, you go girl, see you at Lesbian Visibility Week. Now by leftist logic, if you're insulted by any of this, then you're a bigot or a racist or something like that. Councilman Ryan even posted before and after photos so people could witness her dramatic transformation. If Ryan Webb is expecting a sponsorship deal from Bud Light or from Maybelline, she's kidding herself. Trans activists insist that Ryan Webb is making a mockery of gender fluidity by purporting to show her transition, which clearly is not much transition at all. If Webb was serious about being a woman, she'd be taking it seriously. 
like trans woman poster girl Dylan Mulvaney. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. So. How'd I do, ladies? Good? Girl power. Trans activists lined up at a recent Delaware County Council meeting to condemn Ryan Webb. Not because a heterosexual white man claiming to be a lesbian woman of colour was nonsense, but because not being sincere about it was wrong. Last week, Councilperson Ryan Webb announced publicly on social media and to several news outlets that he now, now identifies as a lesbian woman of colour. If he were serious, I'd sing his praises. Wait, if he was serious? So if he was serious about being a lesbian woman of colour, you'd sing his praises. That was the consensus. Here's another activist expressing a similar sentiment. You came out as a woman of colour and a lesbian. And if that were true, we would all be proud of you. And no one would be denying your right to do such things and to identify by your heritage. But your open mockery of these communities is insane. Did you catch that? We'd be proud of you if it were true that you were a lesbian woman of colour. Question. When did truth come into the debate about how a person identifies? Isn't gender determined by your deeply held inner feelings? And isn't it true that a person's deeply held inner feelings are entirely subjective? You can't argue that everything is subjective until a person you don't like comes along and then suddenly change the rules, declaring that objective truth existed all the time. The lesson here is that when you leave a door open, you can't complain about who walks in. I'm being dead serious. This isn't a joke. I said what I said. I don't know what to tell you. You don't get to question me. You do not get to require proof from me. You were part of the movement that helped establish these rules and set the bar, okay? You don't get to come later when someone else is, um, joins a club and, that you don't want in. So I want to make sure that that's clear and understood. You don't get to question what I, how I personally identify. I'd say that's checkmate. How bitter the taste of one's own medicine.